How would princesses look like as mermaids? Let's find out. Hey everyone, this is me, you. I'm super excited to get started on this video. I've been dreaming about how princesses could look like as mermaids, especially with like their different tails and fins and how can I incorporate some of their distinctive like features, their dresses or their outfits into the mermaid design. I've also released a new coloring book called Princesses as Mermaids on Amazon. It has all of these beautiful princesses I reimagined as mermaids in this video, plus new never before seen designs. More info later in the video. Okay, so Belle's giant, beautiful ballroom gown posed an interesting challenge for me because I was thinking, how am I going to, like, you know, infuse? that famous ballroom gown into a slender mermaid tail because obviously I can't really, you know, the shape is just so different. So I was thinking about what if I added like these little cute shell decorations and then had like layers along them as like a cute addition to her tail. I thought that could work. And of course, a mermaid has to have her sidekick, so I will be reimagining different Disney sidekicks as fishy friends. And I could not miss this opportunity to turn Philippe into a seahorse. I just had to do it. Thank you all for your likes and comments in my previous long video where I combined five orange characters into one. I'll see what other colors I can do in the future. I'm also glad you enjoyed my latest shorts video. Ooh, I'm gonna make her tail super shimmery. I can't wait. Okay, since Lumiere is like kind of like a flame fish, like he has flames but he's underwater. How does that work? I have no idea. All right, Belle looks like she's checking the attendance list for an underwater ball. We've got three other princesses who are waiting for their fins. Before I design them, I'm happy to announce my newest coloring book. Now you can color all these gorgeous designs in Princesses as Mermaids, coloring book and art book in one. You'll get all of the mermaid princesses I've created in this video and some never before seen designs that haven't been released yet. So you'll be the first to color them. This is part coloring book and part art book. You'll have the full color art for each design and the black and white line art to color right beside. You get my artwork right in front of you as inspiration. Try similar colors or something completely different. Each black and white line art image has its own black page on the other side to help prevent the look of ink from seeping through. This book also has a bonus duplicate set of the same mermaid designs with alternative color schemes and another set of the black and white line art right beside so you can try other color combos, art supplies, or techniques. You can also color with friends and family. I've made two different sizes to suit your creativity, the regular and the large size. Collect this entire series, color by beautiful reimagined artwork any way you like for whatever mood you're in. Get them now on my May bookstore on Amazon, the link's in the description. Each book is custom printed just for you in the closest geographical location. So for example, if you order from the US, it's made in the US. They ship to over 100 countries. Happy coloring! Okay, so I've reimagined Belle as a mermaid. She's one of my favorite Disney princesses, and here is another one of my favorites. I can't wait to see how Pocahontas is gonna look like as a beautiful mermaid, maybe with a couple buddies as well. I wonder how they're gonna look like as undersea creatures. Hmm. <laughs> I love her hair so much. I'm trying to get in all the kind of jagged yet elegant edges in the hair.
Of course, I also want to make all the mermaid designs different from each other, especially with the tail shape and fins. It's Miko and Flit's turn to get their tails. I was thinking about what kind of sea creatures they could resemble based on their like original designs. I was thinking, especially for Flit, I thought a swordfish kind of um, like jagged pointed mouth would be perfect for him. As for Miko, let's invent a new species, shall we? Let's call it the raccoon fish. I love how she's just sitting in some kind of coral reef, like she's a part of nature. I love how I designed her tail fins to resemble her necklace. I think that's kind of incorporating a really nice part of the character into my new mermaid design. If you want to take a break afterwards, relax, study, or color with me, come chill with me in my peaceful real-time coloring videos. I'm glad this series is helping you de-stress and mentally recharge. Also, thank you to all of you who posted your coloring work you've done in my different coloring books on Instagram with the hashtag MayYouArt. I've collected and shown thousands of your creations in my various videos, and I'll keep on showing more in the future. Thanks for supporting each other. Hmm, I'm loving how her colors are contrasting with the reef and her two sidekicks beside her. I feel the color scheme is a little more selective and muted with pops of bright colors here and there. So I think it's a nice contrast to the first mermaid I did. All right, Tiana's turn. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with her plant and lily pad motif and incorporate that into my mermaid design. I think her dress is gonna lend itself beautifully to what I have in mind, especially with the plant-like shapes. I'm gonna really play it up. And yes, I'm gonna get her sidekick in there as well. Uh, in some way or form. I don't know if there are frogs in the sea. I'm, I'm not sure, but I'll probably be inventing another species here. I think it's gonna be really elegant to have my mermaid Tiana sitting in a bed of these swirling like uh, sea plants or seaweed, and they just kind of swirl and float around her. Okay, so here comes my sea frog, fish, underwater creature thingy. For the fence, I still wanted to have some kind of frog-like appearance to them, but instead of drawing legs with like, you know, big fins, I wanted to make the entire leg the fins and just have them curled to kind of look like frog legs.
I love her seaweed top. All right, how's Rapunzel gonna look like as a mermaid with all of her hair? I can see already this is gonna be a really colorful piece. If you've seen my other reimagined videos and whenever I draw Rapunzel, you know, I tend to draw her with her like hair that's not braided like the regular uh, long hairstyle. So in this video, I'm going to see how her hair is going to look like braided with a bunch of like colorful things inside. And in the movie, she had lots of like pretty flowers and all that. But because this time she's under the sea, I'm going to be switching the flowers in for other like sea creatures, like anemones, shells, and other things. I think it's going to be really colorful. Since I put little starfish in her hair, I thought it'd be fun to give her a matching top. Okay, now here comes her fantastic friend, Pascal. Oh, look at those big googly eyes. Oh, I also can't wait to see how you will color in these beautiful mermaids in my new coloring book. I know you're all so creative and many of you have your own very distinctive, unique coloring styles. So keep up the good work, everyone, and I love to see them. Now, can you imagine these beautiful mermaid princesses with the villain mermaids I've done before? That could be like some kind of alternative universe thing. Okay, let me know in the comments below which Princess Mermaid was your favorite and also who else should I turn into mermaids. Thanks for watching everyone. Subscribe and hit the bell icon in case you haven't yet so you won't miss future videos. Have fun with my coloring books and I will see you in my next video.